The Father's Blessing Ministry has launched a Ten Commandments project to bless children. We are creating a children's book series, 11 in all, to help parents, grandparents, and churches teach children the Ten Commandments and lift up the name of Jesus in their hearts. Our goal is that children will come to a saving faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and desire to know and walk in the ways of the Lord. We also see this material used in effective outreach to friends and neighbors. Please sit back and enjoy the message of the Ninth Commandment and view the various stages that are taking place in the production of its artwork. Welcome to the 109. Well, look what's here, Miss June did cheer as she gathered up her mail. It's a catalog called Outdoor Hair with lots of things on sale. She wanted to buy gifts for Skippy's birthday in three weeks, and she thought it had great presents, so she smiled and took a peek. They had fishing poles that guaranteed you'd always catch a fish, and bicycles with big red horns that honked with every squish. She said, they're perfect for my Skippy, so she called them on the phone. We'll send them on the next train out. That's the safest shipping known. Miss June then called up Bobby Bear and said, Hi, how are you? I've ordered Skippy's birthday gifts. Will you hide them from his view? I'll gladly help, said Bobby Bear. I'll put them in my den. When the day arrives, I will sneak them back before Skippy gets back in. That's perfect, Bobby, said Miss June. And please, be careful, too. When you pick them up, go straight back home. That's the first thing you must do. One week from Skippy's birthday, the presents did arrive. On the 109, that was right on time, chugging in at 4.05. Bobby was at the station when the train puffed steam and stopped, and Will tugged on the big air horn, then the boxcar door was dropped. Toot, toot! Then out came Will the walrus, with Skippy's brand new bike, and Wyatt held his fishing pole, and wow, they looked alike. Bobby said, Do I say double? They said, Why, yes, we're twins. I'm Will and his wife. We're brothers and we're friends. We brought in Miss June's presents to give to Bobby Bear, with a note that says go straight back home to hide the gifts right there. So Bobby hopped up on the bike and took the fishing pole. He said, thanks guys, and rode off slow for safety and control. He rode down by the railroad tracks that ran beside the lake and thought of all the yummy fish and said, I need a break. He parked the bike up on the bridge and sat down on its edge. He hoped to catch his fill of fish and forgot about his pledge. It didn't take much time at all for a fish to tug his line. Got one. He flipped it up into his mouth and fished till he had nine. He felt a little burp slip out, <clears throat> then leaned back for a nap. But as he dozed off sound asleep, the pole fell from his lap. Grr, splash. And while he slept, the 109 was pulling out of town. They chugged along till Will cried out, That's Bobby on the ground! Then Wyatt grabbed the brake line and pulled with all his might. The brakes locked up and sparks flew out, and wow, it was a sight. Then Will tugged on the big air horn that blew a wake-up call. Toot, toot! It scared Bobby right out of sleep and made him slip and fall. Curse splash! They tried to save the birthday bike, but no, nope, it was too late. The 109 slid down the line and knocked it in the lake. Curse splash! Finally, the train did stop and both the twins hopped out. They ran and called for Bobby Bear to find his whereabouts. They found him on the shoreline, and boy, did he look sad. He said, I've lost the birthday gifts, and June will be so mad. Then Wyatt said, What really counts is first that you're okay. 
Now you should go tell Miss June and do it right away. And as he walked to Miss June's house, he thought, What should I say? I'll say Fred Fox had been there first and stole them all away. But as he thought he'd tell a fib, his heart heard God's reply. Bobby Bear, go tell the truth. I've said thou shalt not lie. He said, Lord God, please forgive me, and I won't tell a lie. I'll see if I can pay June back, then wait for her reply. And when he stopped by Miss June's house, she said, Hi, Bobby Bear. He said, I don't feel good right now. There's something I must share. He told her how he'd gone astray and how the gifts were lost and said he was so sorry and he'd like to pay their cost. She said, Bobby, I forgive you and I think we ought to try to buy new birthday presents from the Outdoor Hair Supply. Miss June then called up Outdoor Hair and ordered them express. If they don't get here right on time, I want them nonetheless. And when they took the order, they called the 109. Miss June has ordered them express. Please have them there on time. Then Wyatt said, We'll make it. And Will said, Yes, we can. We'll take, take turns driving day and night. We'll make it. That's the plan. And when the party started off, Toot, toot, was their first sign that Will and Wyatt had arrived on the steaming 109. They slipped into the party before they screamed, Surprise! When Skippy saw his bike and pole, he said, They're great, you guys. And then he gave Miss June a kiss with a, Honey, I love you. Why, this has been the best surprise. I never had a clue. Well, I hope you enjoyed our Ninth Commandment story, the 109. As you can see, progress is being made. If at all possible, we would like to have at least two, if not three, books finished before Christmas. If you would like one of these books for your family or as a present for friends, please sign up to be notified when they're available by clicking the sign up form, filling it out, and hitting the send button. Uh, we could also use your help in getting the word out about these books to other interested people, churches, or stores. If you would um, email a note or call a friend or forward one of the newsletters we provide with the information about the project so that people can know uh, what we're doing and how to order what they want, then they too can be blessed by the material. Uh, finally, we are still trying to meet our budget so we can produce the books and uh, any gift will help. So thank you and God bless you.